as creatives, artists, and entrepreneurs, we all struggle with constant distractions. Coming up with the next big idea, the pressure to produce and be productive, uh, falling into hustle culture, and numerous other blocks that pop up during our busy lives. But we can all benefit from building a connection to water because it has the power to unlock creativity and reduce stress. If you've ever watched a sunset over the water, stood up on a surfboard for the first time, or kayaked through a mangrove or down a stream, there's this deep feeling of calm awareness and youthful happiness that you just want to hang on to. ourselves near the edge of water, things simplify and our default mode network takes over. Here things slow down. We can begin to connect the dots and see patterns because we aren't distracted with all the things that pop up in our busy lives. It's a mildly contemplative state where we can connect to ourselves and our surroundings. Wallace J. Nichols calls it a blue mind and I like to consider it a form of microflow. This is where creatives, entrepreneurs, and artists can let the creative process bubble to the surface. Water provides a perfect balance of stability and change, like looking at a waterfall or a calm lake. And this balance of change and consistency allows you to enter the state of involuntary attention. So how does Wallace describe the concept of blue water? In his words, the term blue mind describes the mildly meditative state we fall into when near, in, on, or underwater. It's the antidote to what we refer to as red mind, which is the anxious, overconnected, and overstimulated state that defines the new normal of modern life. Research has proven that spending time near the water is essential to achieving an elevated and sustained happiness. Some of his research has shown that being in or near water can provide a long list of benefits for your mind and body, such as lowering stress and anxiety increasing an overall sense of well-being and happiness, a lower heart rate and breathing rate, more focused and better workouts. Water is being used to help treat and manage PTSD, addiction, anxiety disorders, autism, and more. Thinking back on snorkeling and swimming on Buck Island on St. Croix in the U.S. Virgin Islands, we were all in a micro flow. The whole family was so connected to the moment, connected with nature and each other as well. As a form of micro flow and even group flow, a moment of family flow at its best. Those are special experiences and memories, but our connection to water is something that we can aim to bring into our daily lives. It may not be something that we actively think about each day, but we bought a house in the woods with a large creek running through it, with streams and small waterfalls surrounding us. It's a bit of extreme living from time to time as we have to cross a footbridge to get to our house, but we're forced to recognize the flowing water as well as the volume of water running through it, which ties us to the daily and seasonal changes in nature. It's a little refresher or reset after having to deal with all the issues that pop up in the daily running of our restaurants. Take a minute to evaluate your daily connections with water. Find ways of increasing them or adding in elements of water, whether it's taking a bath or taking two minutes to appreciate a nearby lake. Here are a couple ideas for you to make it a part of your daily life. One, find your water spot. Find the nearest place to take a walk near a body of water. 
The ocean is great, but lakes, ponds, streams, small waterfalls, downtown fountain, etc. are even better if that's what you have nearby. Make an effort to find your water spot where you can easily get to and detox when you need to just relax for a minute. The second one is listen to the ocean. Soft sounds of the ocean with waves lightly crashing by lower your cortisol levels. It can help you find some solitude and you can even use it to fall asleep. Bring water into your garden. If you're into gardening, think about ways of bringing water into your garden. Maybe through a fountain, a waterfall, a small pond. Even a bird bath has the element of water and invites more nature and birds into your space. Put up a photo of a beach or a water trip on the wall. Even looking at water scenes are beneficial to adopting a blue mind. When you get the benefit of an actual experience with memories tied to it, if it happens to be a photo you took. So get out there with your camera and take a picture of your water spot or special water scene. If you bring an exercise or activity into water, you can deepen the flow experience. And with something like surfing, we can carry those benefits that we get from experiencing a flow state with you for a few days after as well. The weight of the world is literally lifted when you're in the water and you can feel this gravity relief. Vacations to island paradises in the Caribbean and surfing in Puerto Rico are great experiences, but establishing a daily connection with water will have a much greater effect on your overall creativity and well-being. Whether you're searching for that next big idea, trying to solve a problem, or reduce some stress in your life, we can all benefit from spending more time near, on, in, or under water. I hope some of these tips will help you in gaining some microflow through water. Check out my In Search of Flow playlist to go deeper on sparking creativity and appreciating the moment.